Welcome to Neo Royal House of Pricey Cardboard. On today's episode, we are joined by two returning and fantastic guests. We have Sage of Fables and Mr. Bivers. Both put out content on YouTube and Twitch, so be sure to check them out. We are currently doing a giveaway to celebrate the 2k subs on this channel, and I've prepared some stretch goals if we push the bar even higher. So share us with your friends for a chance at a doubling season. Once we hit the 2k mark, I'll choose a video for everyone to leave a comment on or something like that. This episode, as all of our content, is brought to you by our amazing patrons. Each and every one of you supports the show directly and are often the reason I'm pushing through with all of this. So thank you. This episode is dedicated to our new mythic tier Patreon, Lilith. Sage brought their Galazet Prismary list. It's an artifact matter strategy looking to use the treasures to play bigger artifact creatures. There's a little top third sub team in there, as well as a modular one. As for Bevers, he is playing a slightly modified list of Hidetsugu Devouring Chaos, originally brewed by Chris, your commander mechanic. Also a new patron of the channel. The deck is running very big spell to cash in on the commander's burn ability and run multiples way to double damage or spells. As for Kelly, she is part of the burn team too with Vow Smasher the Fierce and Dargo Shipwrecker. The list is running Obosh the Precursor as a companion, so every card in here is outcasted and cares about dealing damage. She is currently building it in paper, so to try it out, she is playing over Muxfield today. For myself, I'm playing my Vetrak Apex of Thunder deck. By now, I'm sure you know the list, it cares a lot about Magda Brazen Outlaw, tutoring her, and trying to assemble a win through dragons, changelings, and mutated Jessica's wills. Kelly gets to start this off, and then drops a Prismatic Vista, cracking it for a swamp. Alan drops a Myriad Landscape, tapped. Bevers then drops a Mountain, while Sage then drops a Mountain as well. Kelly follows the train and then drops a Mountain. She casts a Soul Ring and follows it up with a Read the Bones, scrying 2 and drawing 2. I join the Mountain Club and cast Unlicensed Hearse. Graveyard hate. Yes. And I will I'm not sure how much of a fan I am of that, but that's <laughs> Bevers then drops a swamp and casts Mind Stone. Sage then drops an island and casts Mirror Retriever. Kelly then drops a swamp and casts Commander Sphere. She then follows it up with the Phyrexian Arena. At the end step, I exile the fetch land with my vehicle. I then drop an Allowed Fountain untapped and crack my Myriad for two basic islands. Bevers then drops a mountain and casts his Commander, Idetsugu Devouring Chaos. Let the violence begin. No, I'm not getting <laughs> of the violence. <laughs> Sage and just a great furnace. They cast Scrap, Welder, and Pass. Kelly draws an additional card and then drops a mountain. She casts Gilded Lotus. And then one of her many commanders, Foul Smasher the Fierce. <laughs> watch out, watch out! On my turn, I'll end up a Battlefield Forge. I am in need of creatures. I cast Storm the Vault and pass. Bever lands just a common tower. He then activates his commander and exiles a land. Disappointed, he passes. Sage casts Soul Ring. They then follow it up with their commander, Galazet Prismary. <laughs> Who's gonna ETB and make a treasure? Not a treasure. A, a single treasure. They cast Moon Snare Prototype before passing. Kelly draws two for turn. She casts her second partner, Dargo the Shipwrecker. Foul Smasher triggers for seven. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, for your for Dargo, oof. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get this show on the road. Kelly then casts Valakus Exploration and then drops a swamp. This triggers the enchantment and exiling Light of the Stage. She goes to combat and sends Vow Smasher to Bevers. As Light of the Stage is not cast, we all take one at the end step. At the end step as well, I keep on exiling Kelly's grave. I then drop a snow-covered mountain and cast Jessica's Will. I make 6 red mana, using 5 to cast Scourge of Alkes. On ETB, I deal 1 damage to the Mere Retriever. Hi, I'm Neo, I'm the breaker of toys. 
don't get me into the Toys R Us, because... <laughs> I crew my hearse with the dragon and mutate my commander under the vehicle. Badrak, Apex of Thunder. Come on, Badrak. Let's show them how it's done. On Mutate, I cast Jessica's Will again from the graveyard, getting 6 more red mana and exiling my top 3. Get the top 3. 1, 2, 3. Oh, no, well, that's. that's. poopy. Using the floating red, I cast Hammer of Perforos from my hand and head into combat. I send the hearse to Kelly, and on damage, I get a treasure. I then pass. Bevers and just a cabal coffers. So in other words, we could kill your commander right now by blowing up target artifact? Yes. Yeah. Cool. But the, no our board wipe would not. No it. reason. <laughs> Don't read that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he casts Dockside Extortionist. I crack my treasure in reaction and Bevers creates 9. He then casts Mana Geyser, floating 13 red mana. Using Itetsugu, Bever sacrifices Duckside to Strike 2. He then activates Itetsugu to exile the top card of his library, Snuff Out. Itetsugu deals 4 to my dragon. Bever then casts Snuff Out to destroy Dargo. After that, he cracks his Mindstorm for a draw. You have so much mana to do and nothing to do with. Bever then casts Insult, followed by the other half of the card, Injury. Little misplay here, we missed the part where the damage was double, so the 2 on the creature killed nothing and I took 2 to the face instead of 4. On their turn, Sage casts Unexpected Windfall. They then follow it up with Tisseret Artifice Master, using the plus 1 to get a doctor. Kelly draws 2 and then drops a Nairid Mesa, cracking it for a bad lens. On both landfall, the exploration exiles a basic. Kelly then casts her companion, Obosh the Precursor. Foul Smasher deals 5 to me. She follows it up with Judith the Scorch Diva. For a combat step, she sends Val Smasher to Bevers, this time dealing 6 damage. At the end step, Valakut's Awakening deals 4 to each opponent. Alright, give me something. That's something. Um... Is it the right thing? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tell a, me about it. That's Tell me about it. a thing. <laughs> I cast Sun Titan. On ETB, I bring back my Myriad Landscape. I then go to combat and send the AC Sun Titan to Kelly. I have no targets to bring back. Three. In hand. Are you just as willing now too? Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Bevers cast Scheming Symmetry. Both Bever and Sage can put a card on top of their decks. He then lands up a Bojka Bug, exiling my graveyard. Following it up with Toxic Deluge, where X equals 6. Kelly reacts to the board wipe with Malakir Rebirth, targeting Obosh. Bever has a reaction as well with Murderous Cut, destroying the Hellion. The Val Smasher triggers then resolve, dealing 1 to Bevers, and the board is wiped. Judith deals 3 to Bevers. What is this stack? <laughs> <laughs> what? You told me Love to bring this rectus stack. Sage casts Sahili the Gifted, using the plus one to make the next spells 4 mana cheaper. They cast Brass Bounty, creating 4 treasures and passing. Kelly lands up a command tower, exiling expedition map with the exploration. She casts Dracuset, Ma of Flames. Following it up with her Skyclave Relic, kicking the spell for two more mana rocks. Kelly then casts Curse of Opulence on Sage, and at the end step, the Valakut's Exploration deals one to Kelly's opponents. At the end step as well, I exile Obosh and Judith from Kelly's graveyard. On my turn, I cast Joyra with their Light Captain. I then land up a mountain and cast Maskwood Nexus. Oh my god! Oh my god, look at all these cards in my hand. But now you're gonna draw a card! Yeah, I'm gonna draw a card. Ooh, <laughs> that sure is a magic card. Um, is it a land? Nope. <laughs> no, it's a, no, it's actually a good magic card. <laughs> uh, I head into combat and send Joyra to Sahili. Bevers recast his commander and pass. Sage zeroes Tezzeret to draw two cards. They then plus one Sahili to reduce the next spell and recast their commander. They then follow it up with a Shimmer Dragon and a Storm Kiln Artist. <laughs> Kelly draws two and ends up a mountain. She exiles Dictate of the Twin Gods with the exploration and casts it from exile. 
She then casts Sword of Heart and Home, equipping it on Dracuset. She follows it up with the Chandra's Ignition. Blood dead. Oh, don't exile Obush. Kelly has been nice all along. You're all dead. <laughs> Before the ignition resolves, Sage draws a card with their Shimmer Dragon. The ignition takes Bevers out of the game. Going to combat, Dracusets attacks Sage for 18 and deals me 8 directly with the attack trigger. Well played. <laughs> I drew the counter spell, but I didn't. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you are in need of some new cards, we now have an affiliate TCG player link in the description. You can use it and support us completely for free. Check out our guests on their respective platforms, take care and we'll see you very soon.